Here's how I stopped wasting my time. Wasting your time is one of the most frustrating feelings in the world where you know how many things you have to get done. You know your task list is growing and growing. You're procrastinating. So many things are happening. You're just under all this pressure, but you still are wasting time. You're almost like revenge trading. You're sitting there in life like, oh, like an hour of sleep. I'm not sleeping, Anna. And you get in this rabbit hole of just negative thinking and problems. But there are so many ways in where you can fix this and stop wasting your time. Take it from someone like me with hyperactivity in my brain and always something else that's pulling me in. It's really hard to sit down and do one thing at a time. And I found little cheat codes that help me stop wasting my time. One of the most important things to basically doing this is again, fixing your surroundings and your environment. Your surroundings and your environment is the number one thing to stop wasting your time. If you're around people who are constantly inviting you to play games with them, or do this, or hey, play video games, or calling you this, and are calling you to waste your time, or you're around people where they're constantly wasting your time and things that you need to get done and are distracting you, that's the first thing is you have to change your environment. One of the hardest things to do, but if you can do this, then you can take accountability responsibility for the things that you can control. Because sometimes you really can't control how other people are treating you and how other people are gonna want some of your time. The most valuable thing we have is our time. It's something we can never get back. So again, you have to know and focus on how you're gonna spend your time. Understand that you're gonna have to make sacrifices where say there's a really fun party that you wanna go to, but you have to study for a test. You're gonna have to sacrifice that fun and that party because there's a main purpose. There's a main focus you have to get done. And finding your purpose is really important. Understanding what is gonna be purposeful about your life. What's purposeful about things you want to do? What are the things you want to get done? And then when you know this, you'll be able to spend your time wisely with things you want to do. So again, to stop wasting your time, first and foremost, you have to find that purpose. You have to find your mission. You have to find those tasks. Once you know what needs to get done, that's it. No ifs, ands, or buts. You know what needs to get done. So now you have to focus on how am I gonna get it done? I watched a really interesting video that was basically talking about even in the modern day in social media that we have all these days in days and days and months and years to do things. If you live on an average this amount, you're gonna have this much time of free time. And it showed that the free time we have it said that 90% of the free time we have is about to go to all the social media platforms that we get to look at. So that shows that in all the free time we have, most of it is gonna go to corporations. Most of it is gonna go to these places that just wanna distract you, that just wanna get you away from doing the thing that you need to get done. Our screen time is going up. What's gonna happen to our youth that constantly are just sitting there staring at their screen, swiping up, swiping up, swiping up, and not actually learning anything, not actually spending their time wisely. So knowing this, you have to think, do I want the 100% of my free time I have, 90% of it to be just wasting my time and only have a small little sliver of 10%? What are you gonna be able to do in that 10%? Understand that you have to fix your habits. This is what's gonna help you save your time and spend your time wisely. Treat your time like a currency. So for example, if you're sitting there thinking, okay, I wouldn't pay for social media at all. Okay, cool. But if you spend three hours on a social media a day, how much do you make an hour? 20 an hour, 30 an hour? but you're giving it that kind of time. So, okay, if you would you even spend $5 a year for that thing? Now I wouldn't spend $5 a month for it, $20 a month for it, but you're spending 20 hours a month on it. So it doesn't have consistency. So understand that your time is valuable and you have to be willing to spend it the proper way. Me personally, when I was going through a really bad time in my life and I was really uncertain with what I wanted to do or what my next step was, and I was wasting my time, I was not the best version of myself. I was not happy. I was not focused. I didn't have purpose. I was losing myself in the sauce. I didn't know what my next step was, but I wasn't fixing the problem. I was kept wasting more of my time and hoping something would happen or something would change, but nothing changed until I took action. So I urge this to you as well, where listen, you might not be in the best state, the best vibe, but you can get to that next level of, okay, I can figure this out. I can get to the next step and be a better version of myself. How am I going to do it? By first and foremost, giving yourself that alone time, separating yourself from the distractions and focusing on who you are and what you really want out of life. There is something that happened to me recently that made me realize how valuable it is just two minutes and three minutes. So something that I've been doing over the last year is studying a new language. And I use Duolingo, right? Not sponsor or anything, just this happens to be the app that I'm using. And I do a lesson every day. I spend maybe two to five minutes on it a day. Nothing crazy, just consistent. And it told me that I was in the top 7% of language learners on the app. And then they think, all I did was spend two to five minutes a day and I'm in the top 7% of learners on the app. That literally made me realize that, wait a minute, small little habits of spending my time wisely allowed me to be in a top 7% of all the people that have that application. And uh, even then it showed me I learned 1100 to 1200 words this year. And I know that with 5,000 to 10,000 words, 
You basically know all the words in a language that kind of gets you talking and being fluent. Then I was thinking, if that was in one year, I spent two to five minutes a day on it, imagine in three years, four years, that's not a lot of time. Then you can know 5,000 words within four or five years. That's huge. You basically know so many different words to be able to speak a language. Then all you really need to do is live there for a little bit, six months, a year, and then boom, now you're fluent. So it goes to show that even with a small amount of time focused, you're able to change something about your life. So even two, three minutes to five minutes a day can impact your life for the better. Make sure that you're aware, you're mindful, you know what you're doing, you see what you're going into. You're watching yourself spend too much time doing something. You're watching yourself waste your time. Once you have that awareness and you're seeing that there's a problem, that's the first step. They always say that the first step is understanding that there might be a problem. And once you do that, I promise you, you'll be able to get to the next step of, okay, then what do I do now? What's my focus? How am I gonna spend my time? And when it comes down to your time, people all manage it differently. Some people will say, go to the gym in the morning. Some people go to the gym at night. Whatever works for you, understand that it's your routine, it's your schedule, so make sure you're able to follow it. Sometimes people will give advice and be like, hey, do it like this, 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 and this. Hey, I can do it a way different way and it works a lot better for me. You know yourself. You know the best way for you to spend your time. But if there was something I had to recommend, it's understand there's a main priority in your life. What is it? For me, for example, the first things I do are my spiritual tasks of the day. So I'll make sure I read. I do this. I do that. This is spiritual stuff, you know, to get the ball rolling, to get my brain to start getting awake. And then there's a saying called eat the frog, right? Which basically means do the hard thing first. So there's some that you know is going to take you two, three hours in the morning. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's the hardest thing for you personally, whether it be gym, technical work, doing this, work, job, whatever it is, do that hard thing first when you have the most energy, when you have the most apt ability to be like, boom, I'm going to get this done. This is the task of the day the most important thing I have to do. Something that helps me, and I've noticed other people use this as well, is having a timer or kind of setting a time for something. Like racing the clock, right? Oh, it's 4.30, I'm gonna try to get this done in 30 minutes. And racing it yourself, right? Make it a game, gamify your life. Because again, you are the main character in your story. You are player one. So treat it that way, where you've got your way to get things done for yourself. And this is something that really did help me save my time. Even when I was in high school, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna start working at four o'clock. Before one comes along and you're like, no, it's at five o'clock. No, we'll start working. So give yourself that mode and that method of madness that you personally have. And we all have our own way. Make sure you're constantly reflecting and knowing, okay, this is what I did today. Write it down, have a planner. And again, having that accountability for yourself. When you're actually accountable of your actions and you're doing the thing that's hard that you're doing, you're gonna trust yourself more. You're gonna have more intuitive ability because when you break a promise to yourself, in not getting something done, you then lose confidence. It's a downward spiral if you allow it to happen. But the opposite is true. So if you take your time grinding, working hard, doing all the right things, you're gonna become more confident because you're doing all the right things and you're making promises to yourself that you're keeping. So you're gonna constantly grow and evolve and become better. So those are some tactics and ways that I stopped wasting my time. If you guys have any other ways in where you stopped wasting time and things that kind of focused your energy on basically being productive all the time is important. But understand that you also have to take time for yourself to relax, to decompress. That is very important because you won't be able to go at 100% if you never recharged back up. We always do it, right? Make sure you sleep, make sure you get the right things done. And even if you're sipping a little less than you'd like and you're up early and you're getting after it because you're passionate, you're motivated with that sense of purpose, then that's great. But remember, spend your time wisely and just don't let it waste because it is the most valuable resource that we have. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and send it to all your friends. I really appreciate the love and support. And again, leave comments down below of different things you guys want me to talk about or a different thing because again, I want to be able to share the things that I've been through and understand and maybe give it the advice in a different way. Again, sometimes you have to hear something 100 times, 10 hundred times to be like, okay, it clicked finally. So if I can help out doing that, I'd love to. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next week. See you later.